Welcome to this tutorial on BLAST using BioPython tools. In this tutorial, we will learn to run BLAST for the query sequence using BioPython tools and parse the BLAST output for further analysis. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with undergraduate biochemistry or bioinformatics and basic Python programming. Refer to the Python tutorials at the given link. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Operating System version 14.10, Python version 2.7.8, IPython Interpreter version 2.3.0, BioPython version 1.64 and a working internet connection. BLAST is the acronym for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool. It is an algorithm for comparing sequence information. The program compares nucleotide or protein sequences to sequences in databases and calculates the statistical significance of matches. There are two different ways to run BLAST. Local BLAST on your machine or run BLAST over internet through NCBI servers. Running BLAST in BioPython has two steps. First, run BLAST for your query sequence and get some output. Second, parse the BLAST output for further analysis. We will open the terminal and run BLAST for a nucleotide sequence. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. At the prompt, type IPython and press Enter. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to run BLAST over Internet using NCBI BLAST service. Type the following at the prompt. Import NCBI www module from bio.blast package. Press enter. Next, to run the BLAST over internet, type the following at the prompt. We will use QBLAST function in the NCBI www module. QBLAST function takes three arguments. The first argument is the BLAST program to use for the search. Second, specifies the database to search against. The third argument is your query sequence. The input for the query sequence can be in the form of GI number or a FASTA file or it can also be a sequence record object. For this demonstration, I am using the GI number for a nucleotide sequence. The GI number is for a nucleotide sequence of insulin. The QBLAST function also takes a number of other option arguments. These arguments are analogous to the different parameters you can set on the BLAST web page. The QBLAST function will return the BLAST results in XML format. Back to the terminal. We have to use the appropriate BLAST program depending on whether our query sequence is a nucleotide or a protein sequence. Since our query is a nucleotide, we will use BLAST N program and NT refers to the nucleotide database. Details about this are available at the NCBI BLAST web page. The BLAST output is stored in the variable result in the form of an XML file. Press enter. Depending on the speed of your internet, it may take a few minutes to complete the BLAST search. It is important to save the XML file on the disk before processing further. Type the following lines to save the XML file. These lines of code will save the search result as BLAST.XML in the home folder. Navigate to your home folder and locate the file. Click on the file and check the contents of the file. Use the code shown in this text file if you want to use the FASTA file as a query. Here is the code if you want to use the sequence record object from a FASTA file as a query. Back to the terminal. The next step is to parse the file to extract data. The first step in parsing is to open the XML file for input. Type the following at the prompt. Press enter. 
Next, import the module NCBI XML from bio.blast package. Press enter. Type the following lines to parse the blast output. A blast record contains all the information you want to extract from the blast output. Let us print out some information about all the hits in our BLAST report greater than a particular threshold. Type the following code. For a match to be significant, expect score should be less than 0 0.01. For each HSP, that is high scoring pair, we get the title, length, HSP score, gaps and expect value. We will also print strings containing the query, the aligned database sequence and string specifying the match and mismatch positions. Press enter key twice to get the output. Observe the output. For each alignment, we have length, score, gaps, e-value and strings. You can extract the required information using other functions available in bio.blast package. We have come to the end of this tutorial now. Let's summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt to run BLAST for the query nucleotide sequence using GI number and parse the BLAST output using bio.blast.record module. For the assignment, Run BLAST search for a protein sequence of your choice. Save the output file and parse the data contained in the file. Your completed assignment should have the following lines of code as shown in this file. Observe the code. Since our query is a protein sequence, we have used BLAST P program and NR that is non-redundant protein database for the BLAST search. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to us. Spoken Tutorial project is funded by NMEICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown. This is Nehalata from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.